Hello everyone. Welcome to Physics Physics. Today we are going to do the chapter Semiconductor Devices. This is for Maharashtra Board. According to the new syllabus, the new textbook that is there, we are going to solve the numericals. This is the last chapter of the whole textbook. So we are going to start from the last. Okay, so uh, the sums are based on transistor. So the first thing that you need to know is what is a transistor. Transistor is something, you know, as you can see, this is a type of transistor. Okay, it has three pins. All right, what is transistor used for? Transistor is used to amplify. Okay, it is used to amplify and uh, it converts a weak signal from a low resistor to a high resistance circuit okay all right it has three pins one is the emitter one is the base and one is the collector and this is the symbol for it okay and we need only three uh, terms that we need to know one is C. you can see ie ie is nothing but your emitter current the current that will pass through the emitter pin all right ic is your collector current and ib is your base current the current which will pass through base this is the first formula that you need to know and the second formula that you need to know is the gain factor it's a constant which is nothing but a ratio of collector current to the emitter current okay all right based on these two formula we are going to solve three sums which are given in the textbook so the very first sum is this okay and this is one compared to the all three sums this is a little big okay for solving it's a little big for solving but okay we will do it the common base dc current gain of a transistor is 0.967 if the emitter current is 10 milliampere, what is the value of base current? Okay, so let's see what is given to us. We have alpha as 0 0.967, that is the current gain of the transistor, and the emitter current is 10 milliampere. Okay, what do we need to find? We need to find the base current, which is nothing but IB. What is the formula that we are going to use? We are going to use two, so it is formulae. The first one is alpha is equal to the ratio of collector current to the emitter current. From this, we will get the collector current. And that collector current, we are going to use in this second equation. So we know IE, we will find IC and from this equation, we will be able to find IB. Alright? Okay. So, how we go about it? We know that alpha is the ratio of collector current to the emitter current. That is, alpha is nothing but your current gain of the transistor. Alright, instead of alpha, I can write 0 0.967. Equal to, IC will stay as it is because we don't know its value upon 10. Now, to find the IC, the 10 will go over there and get multiplied. So, you will get IC as 9.67. Okay, 0 0.967 into 10 will give you 9.67 milliampere. Now, I have IC. Look at the second equation. Okay, that we have IE is nothing but IC plus IB. I know the value of IE which is already given. IC have just found out and from this we will find IB. So, we are just going to substitute the value. IE is 10. IC is 9.6 plus IB. So we are going to take 9.6 on the left hand side, which will give me 10 minus 9.6 equal to IB. And when you subtract it, that's how you get 0 0.33 milliampere as your IB, which is nothing but your base current. It is very simple sum. If you know the formula, it is very easy to find it. Okay. Just two formulas. Yes. Moving ahead to the next sum. The next sum is in a common base connection. Okay, now you might see that, you know, common base connection and everything is given that are the type of transistors. 
which we will study. In a common base connection, a certain transistor has an emitter current of 10 milliampere and collector current of 9.8 milliampere. We need to find the value of base current. Very simple sum. Very simple sum. So what do we have? We have the emitter current and the collector current. IE is 10 and IC is 9.8. We need to find IB. Simple formula IE is nothing but IC plus IB. So in the solution, we are just going to substitute the value IE is 10 and IC is 9.8 plus IB. So we will take this 9.8 on the left hand side. 10 minus 9.8 will give you 2 milliamperes and that's how you get this answer. Very simple sum. It hardly took us how many minutes. Not even 1 or 2 minutes it will take you to you know find the answer. You can even do it orally if you know the formula very well. And these kind of sums are very good for solving because they are very easy and very simple and very quick. Moving on to the last sum that you have. In a common base connection, the emitter current is 6.28 milliampere. So I have IE, that is my emitter current as 6.28 milliampere. And the collector current is 6.20 milliampere. We need to find the common base collector current gain which is nothing but your alpha gain whenever you see the word gain that means you need to calculate the alpha or the beta depending upon what is the question asked okay so given is uh, ie that is the emitter current is 6.28 milliampere and collector current is 6.20 milliampere we need to find the gain the formula is ic divided by ie so we are just going to substitute the values which is alpha the gain is equal to 6.20 divided by 6.28 which will give me the factor of 0 0.98 0 0.987 which will be your final answer very simple sum very simple okay you just need to know the formula i will go back Remember these two formula and you are done with the chapter, done with the chapter and done with the numericals of the chapter. It's very simple. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you everyone.